How many constituent stocks do you think are listed in the S&P 500? Well, 500, right? Wrong. It's actually 505. Why? Well, there are still only 500 companies represented, but some of these companies have more than one class of shares. Currently, Google, Fox, Discovery, News Corp, and Under Armour list two classes of shares. But how did this happen? In 2015, the S&P allowed for multiple share classes to be included into the index. Companies saw that having shares with different voting powers would be a way to prevent giving up control. When Snapchat tried to create a class with no voting power, the S&P ultimately stopped multi-class share inclusion in the index, but allowed the existing ones to remain. So when you buy shares, make sure that you know what you're buying, and whether or not you will have a vote in the company's decision making. 